Hi, I'm Sam, we're at Shaper HQ. In this feature demonstration, we're going to look at Origin's ability to add tape to the tape field that already exists. Um, sometimes if you haven't got enough tape, you need tape in a different area, or you uh, cut through tape, you may want to add more to make the, uh, the cutting experience much more predictable. And uh, we'll show you that now. Okay, so here we're going to pretend we're uh, halfway through cutting and say we want to cut something up here. Just place that. Um, now I can't get to that element uh, with the tape that's available here. See, see it says low markers? Because there's no tape above here, if I keep facing this way, uh, I can't actually get to that element with the tool. So uh, I, obviously I can just ro rotate the tool and uh, keep cutting just fine. But uh, there we go. So I could easily make it around there. But just assuming I had to face this way, uh, we're going to look at how we can add more tape to our workpiece and uh, continue cutting. So I'm just going to do this. So this is going to enable us to continue facing in the same direction and uh, complete this cut. So often when you have uh, complicated sort of nested elements, you'll find you, uh, you actually cut through the tape that you're going to need uh, to locate the tool. So to extend my tape field, I just go back here, hit scan again. So this is going to feel a little odd in that I'm kind of resetting the workpiece and teaching it a about a bunch more uh, area. Um, so at this stage, it's saving my new workpiece, but it doesn't know where the file was that I just had placed previously and was allegedly in the middle of cutting. So I have the ability down here to go... So that was the uh, replace tape. So now you'll see it's brought my element back in, uh, but because I've got more tape up above there, I can now navigate the full range of that element facing in this direction. So that was the add tape feature, and that's perfectly aligned 